I'm now joined by Elton Brown from Demand Management. Hi, Elton. How are you? Hi. Great. Thanks, Lawrence. Elton, please tell um, the audience about Demand Management and what you guys do. Well, Demand Management Systems, otherwise known as DMS, is uh, actually the longest running supply chain technology consultancy in Australia. And uh, we've been uh, delivering digital supply chain platforms and processes uh, since 1987, hundreds of clients, uh, generally in medium to large enterprise and manufacturing, retail and, and distribution supply chains. Fantastic. So your perfect place then for my next question is what are some of the key factors affecting the industry right now? Well, um, from the perspective of supply chain planning and optimization, I'd love to share our view because we, we live and breathe that. And we're seeing huge changes in how companies model and plan their uh, multi-enterprise supply chain networks. And, and the top five factors, if you like, that the supply chain planning teams must account for, we think in, uh, in 2023, and at least for the next few years, uh, you could summarize as being big data, advanced analytics, robotic process automation, cloud computing, and, and artificial intelligence, which includes uh, machine learning. And, and we have over 120 zettabytes of data now available on planet Earth. Wow. What's a zettabyte? Well, of course, it's one sextillion bytes. And so if that doesn't make data sexy, then what does? <laughs> um, but seriously, data is the new black and it's actually a huge enabler for so many technologies and uh, it's changing the way we plan and make decisions, but especially our strategic and, and tactical decisions and how they're supported by artificial intelligence. And so a day in the life of a planner has really changed uh, radically in the past 10 years. And they can automate most of their operational decisions like when, where, and how much should I buy, make, and move. And they can automate most of that on a daily basis. And their focus is now really on solving huge, really extended, complex problems, mitigating risk, capitalizing on opportunities, but also anticipating disruptions and becoming more agile and resilient. Wow. I mean, I can tell you know, by listening to you already in this small, a small little snippet, Elton, that uh, you'll have the audience captivated to see that because this type of stuff, all those key factors, you know, the automation, the data, the analytics, uh, the robotics, all those type of things are really much what, what makes up so much of CMAP, plus the tra traditional warehousing and material handling. So, um, you know, you're, you're an ideal person to, to be there and, and share your knowledge. Tell us what you're excited about this year with CMAP. Well, of course, the free drinks. <laughs> well, only partly joking. Actually, I'm excited to be uh, uh, rubbing shoulders with um, and learning a lot from um, a, a lot of experts that are going to be there. And, and CMAT 2023 looks huge. So it's really a, just a, a must be or a must see. Um, but personally, um, I have the pleasure of sharing our views on, on the digital supply chain of the future. Um, and, and I'll be um, sharing that on day three on stage. And, and we'll be discussing some of the key forces that are affecting uh, supply chain planning. But we're going to talk a fair bit about the supply chain digital twin. And I know it's a bit of a buzzword among supply chain planning technologists, but um, I want to demystify that so that any practitioner in the world of planning particularly can drive change in their organization and uh, it comes down to four words, make better decisions faster. Um, but I'm also making sure I visit the SCLAA stand so I can get a free head chop, update yep. my LinkedIn profile, of course, uh, and I'll get along and see, uh, I think that now they're at C11 and I remember at M5, I can go and see uh, supply chain partners, which is a great uh, you know, network to expand my network of, uh, of colleagues. But the free drinks actually are in the networking drinks. It's 4 p.m. Wednesday. It's in my diary. So uh, you'll find me there and come and say hello. Absolutely, Elton. And um, yeah, I think on the digital twin side, you know, I've, I've been lucky enough with my show to see a lot of the ports and their digital twin. So I'll probably be you know, trying to make sure I can get along to see your presentation itself as well, because that's, um, it's really cool stuff. Please do, Lawrence, and uh, no heckling from the front row. <laughs> I promise. Maybe over a beer. <laughs> that sounds uh, great. Thanks, Elton. Well, really excited to have you part of CMAT, and you know, we're really, really looking forward to bringing all the action and all the experts, such as yourself, 
through Import Export TV to not just the people attending, but all the, the broader industry who can't even get there themselves. Great. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks, Elton. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks. Bye. Cheers.